Alright, this is Tech Wars 3, written by Dan Andy and drawn by Ryan Itchams. Uh, they both went on to better things, uh, much better things. This is a Marvel crossover from the 90s that nobody remembers. It's got a wraparound cover. It's alright, probably the best thing about a comic. Uh, this is meant to be like a big event crossover. So we have got a bunch of Avengers and the Excellent Men and Fantastic Force. But it is the British Marvel heroes nobody cares about that this story focuses on. There's this evil corporation and this spins out of all the Marvel UK books and it's all about this evil corporation and how they want to replace the Earth with a digital copy of Earth that they have created themselves. And now all the heroes, they're fighting against the evil corporation soldiers. And straight away on this double splash page, it goes to shit. Cyclist, he gets shot through the heart and he dies. So we're two pages into the comic and a major character has flippantly died. And then Snowman, the Smurf and Wingman, they die on the next page. Killing these characters off graphically, it all just comes across as mean and bitter and like it's trying to be counterculture or whatever. And of course, it means that it's obviously gonna end with everything being magically reset so that none of this matters. They're just horribly killing off your favourite superheroes because uh, they can't add stakes to the story themselves or they just want to take it out on these characters or they hate the superhero cape shit comics or whatever. And just to hammer home how little this book cares about the superheroes and how extreme and edgy it wants to be, Cyclist, he continues to get shot and his face is like blown apart and stuff, even after he is already dead. I imagine anyone would just lose interest in this story when major Marvel characters start dropping dead and it descends into the equivalent of a what-if story. The book it is just cold and hate-filled towards the characters it kills off. The moral seems to be, oh, didn't care about them. They are just a distraction. Uh, this woman here, she is a Marvel UK character. And all these beloved Marvel characters like the Avengers and the Excellent Men, they have just been drafted in to prop up these UK characters and this story. Here's an example of how this book just doesn't give a biscuit. For here, he gets killed. He gets shot by guns and he dies. He doesn't gun out like a warrior making a last stand or digging out that is uniquely for. He randomly gets executed by gunshots and dies. Meanwhile, Captain America and Wolfman, they are having a fight with two other British characters. This is the straightforward team-up thing where they have a misunderstanding and fight. And it's the only part of this comic that isn't disgusting. Uh, and here, here is Deathly Head 2. He was like the big character from these 90s Marvel UK books. A big character who has appeared once in the last 20 years. Then we have some more of this shite here. Mike Tyson from The Excellent Men, he dies. Then Scarlett Johansson gets shot in the back and dies. And Julie Lee and She Hulks, they just died off panel. And it's a shame because She Hulks looks hot. I like how they have coloured her lips, her lipstick. But she is dead and I'm not in the necrophilia. Hashtag make She Hulks hot and alive again, please. Oh, and here is some more unpleasantness. We have got Fetish Fuel, who I really fancy nowadays. She's lovely. She gets shot in the face with a gun, but she doesn't die. Her face, half of her face just gets burnt off. And, like, her eye is hanging out. And she gets up and walks around like that. 
Then we have got some more characters show up. Extra factors. Miss Magnets, Multiplication Man, Pillock, Strong Guy, Not Sunder, and Wolf's Girl. And I like four out of five of these characters. And I was looking forward to them being so impressive and getting involved in their story. But no, next panel, they all die. They get shot. That's a nice use of characters, isn't it? Then some more Marvel UK characters show up and they didn't die. And because the evil corporation, they are like interwoven with the fabric of the multiverse or some shite. It means that they can't kill them without destroying all of reality. But Deathly Head 2, he kills one of them. And then Wolfman, he kills another. And we end on the cliffhanger that... All of the multiverse is doomed because they killed two of the evil corporation. But it's not effective because we already know that everything is just going to be set back to how it was before this story. And absolutely now that happens matters. This is rubbish. Mean-spirited rubbish. Utter tripe. It's like something written by an angry ten-year-old or that... Taylor Tom idiot. It does a poor job of selling anyone on the Marvel UK characters. It insults all the core Marvel characters that people love. And it's hard to even care when the book is obviously gonna just push a button and not have happened at the end. I rate this seven thumbs up.